Oscar season is underway and everyone is talking about cinema. And cinema is important. This story is about what happens when we put our differences yes. aside and we come together as a human race. We win. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes. Here's a list of five realities you need to know about the cinema industry. One. Great films can change the world. After the release of Blackfish, a documentary depicting the ill treatment of killer whales in captivity, SeaWorld profits dropped by 84%, and in March of last year, they announced they would no longer be breeding orcas in captivity at all. Steve McQueen's 12 Years a Slave and Ava DuVernay's The 13th have shown that cinema has the power to make us confront uncomfortable realities in both our history and current society. Two. Cinema is a battle between art and business. Do you ever feel like you're watching the same film over and over and over again? Well, that's because you are. Originality is risky business. So the franchise, the reboot and the adaptation are far more comfortable for film studios. For business-oriented producers, it's getting harder and harder to justify the financial risk of making an original film and far easier to piggyback on audiences already established by previously successful films and books. Can't go back and keep making same mistakes. Three. British cinema is a tax haven. The Harry Potters, the Bridget Joneses, the Paddington Bears, the foggy cobbled streets, the London Bobby and Big Ben, these twee images dominate British cinema today. And for American companies, faux British makes real money. If a foreign film studio wants to make a film that is culturally British, that is to use a British crew and have the film set in Britain, the UK government will offer big tax breaks. And they particularly like blockbuster franchises. For his expansion of the tax break regulations, George Osborne was personally thanked in the credits for Star Wars Episode 7. Since these tax breaks were introduced, funding for homegrown UK films has fallen, with a 38% drop in 2013 and another 10% drop in 2016. So we finance and make these films, but as filmmaker Matthew Vaughan argues, we don't get that money back. We are subsidising Hollywood, we are service providers, we are not an industry. Four. The story goes where the money is. According to ABC, by 2018, China will have the world's biggest box office. China's political and social message is finding its newest broadcaster, the medium of film. In an attempt to communicate China's values and culture in the same way that America has done for decades. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Films such as Looper, Iron Man 3 and Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End have changed shooting locations to China and also cut entire characters that were deemed offensive by Chinese censors. You should go to China. I'm going to France. I'm from the future. You should go to China. 5. Cinema may affect the public domain. We spend billions of pounds watching films made by studios who at the same time are pushing initiatives that will limit what we can watch and create. In 2016, of the top 25 worldwide grossing films, 24 were made by the same six studios, all represented by the Motion Picture Association of America. The MPAA have lobbied for and supported changes to web blocking, fair use exemptions and copyright terms. Well, these are our ideas, what about yours? Tell us what you think in the comments below and share the video around so others can do the same. And don't forget to visit newspeaks.com as we continue to explore the film industry throughout the month of February.